Yeah. You want to introduce us, Jay? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to introduce you. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Caroline. 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 Okay, everyone. As I think you would have remembered if you would have came to boot camp. <laughs> I, know. I know you go to a gym today. I'm just I'm kidding. Sorry, but I'm I know. Sorry. You're, you're out by Temecula, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I just bought, moved back. Oh, you did? But I'm still keeping the membership at the I already paid them for like a year. At 45? 45. Mm -hmm. I have a coach from there now. Yeah. Well, he's from Anaheim. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Will. Will. He's only coaching. He's wearing a pump cover, y'all. Oh, my gosh, it's cold. This yes. is called a pump cover. When, when a woman hides her gains, guess what? Right? You got a pump cover? That's he's wearing when I do it. I don't even know what that would be. Oh, really? It's like, okay, maybe one I do that in the winter. Yeah, in the summer, I'm like, Maybe it's my turn. I don't have people that tell you to go So mind. sleeper build and pump cover is a term, you guys. All right, sleeper well, build really is like her, like Renee can't tell and then she flexes and it's like, oh, oh man. Yeah. She caught me when she does, does her hair and it's like, oh, yeah, and all of a sudden the bunch is popping out. So it's not the picture. So it's not the picture. No, yeah. Because we have some awesome guests today and one of our, so one guest, but then the other person is one of um, that's someone that you already know in our ALC. So this is Caroline, she was strong for us fitness. Give a round of applause. She's <laughs> certified to help the models finish those threats. There you go. And then she's, I think you're also certified. No. No, you're not. But you are in my books. You guys, you guys know um, what it is to sell. Our one and only ALC member helps the wellness. She's our health and wellness friend. You already got me the lakes. We love her. We appreciate her. And you are a great fitness example to a lot of us in this office. Yes. We did the 66 day challenge here. Not many of us stuck to it fully, but we got re inspired and hopped back on it, right? Mm -hmm. So a few of us have taken on even the 75 bar now. Oh, I did the 75 bar, I only made it 50 days. Um, <laughs> but we that was a big inspiration, so thank you. Because thank you. doing small things like that is about creating small habits, right? Exactly. So I'm let them take the floor. Thank you for inspiring us to make better, healthier decisions. A lot of us are eating up girl, because that's healthy. So thank you guys, I'll let you guys take it away. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, my uh, my idea of this uh, organization or class or is to help you guys, help you and teach you um, small little habits in order for you guys to, because it is about health and fitness, um, uh, create those habits in order for you guys to be successful and make changes if you need to make changes. Um, you know, and, and and then all this pours into the rest of your life because it also pours into your uh, homes, it also pours into your business, um, and then with whoever you're surrounded by, right? Um, so I'm going to ask questions. So I think that that's the best way to start is ask questions on what you want out of this, what um, questions you have. So um, if we can use the board, and um, you want to write them out? What questions do you have? Just anything. You um, wanna, you know, you want how to lose weight, how to build muscle, what how can I start? How, how do you maintain the habit? How do you maintain a habit? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do we maintain a habit? So um, next question. How Give me another you question. Build muscle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> habit. Okay. Habit. And then build muscle. How okay. to build muscle. A booty. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. You know what? And that we have uh, the friends and family, and Sunday she's posting the booty class. If you guys want to come yes. in, yes. yes. Eight a.m. Anybody? Yes. Come in for a booty workout. <laughs> Your question. Wait, no. where is that? Oh, it's uh, oh. we have. She has um flyers I'm located at the Alberts. So right, right here. Right here. It's yes. local. Any other questions? How do you um like? We were talking about earlier, how do you break old ha cooking habits? How do you start cooking yeah, healthy? Okay, that's the, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. you know, healthy, yeah, yeah, cooking healthy. And like, my, I have a my question for Vanessa. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Those macros, right? When I'm tracking them? Yes. Like, how do I hit the protein intake without eating meat, right? So sure. how can I, I struggle with the hitting macros. Okay, Calculate so properly. eating. Enough macros, right? Yeah, eating enough macros. Or I'll be full at the end of the day and I want to eat more. And I stay under them. That's the biggest struggle, right? Is not eating enough. Well, I thought I was that, eating a lot, but I wasn't when I started tracking. Okay. 
That's, that's, that's my struggle, okay. is that I don't eat enough protein. Okay. So I'm hungry oh. at the 7.30, 8 o'clock when I go to bed, okay. I'm catching myself going to bed with the cookie. So that's, okay. so that's normal, right? <laughs> that's, it, but that's the thing too, I feel like that's not that normal. <laughs> I'm going to wait, so I'm going to wait last one, right? It makes me a lot bigger. So for me, someone like me, it's hard for me to be like, oh yeah, I need to finish eating this much. To me, I wanted to congratulate myself. I was like, good job, you didn't go to over to your calories. Right. But it's, but it, it's a stunting the way that I'm burning fat, though. Like, I'm not burning, I hit a plateau. Right. Okay. So, so you're not eating enough food in order to lose weight. Because that one is uh, one that everybody in our minds, it's like food is going to make you gain weight. Yep. Right? And that's not the idea. So we'll we'll get to that. So how do I lose weight? Okay. Um, yeah. Lose weight. And I, I think my journey, the way it started is um, as women, we think that we're going to lose weight and we're going to be tiny. No, actually, you don't want to be tiny. You want to be fit. Yes. You want to look fit. You don't want to be, you don't want to look fit. I'm sick. Right. I enjoy the way I look. I love myself. Mm -hmm. And when I go to a workout, that's my time. That yes. is my time completely. Yes. And, you know, when I talk here and I put good music, I'm a dancer. I'm having fun while I'm working out. Yeah, and, and there really is either even if it's not a gym membership that you go to, take a walk, put your headphones out, and that's your time. Yeah, and we're gonna touch on all of that. So what to do um, to keep you going, right? So mm -hmm. we're gonna put what to do do to keep you inspired. I don't like to use motivated because motivated motivation comes and goes. Okay, we always like I'm not motivated. I'm not what. Motivation is out the window. It'll be a moment, and you got to remember why you're doing this. So mm -hmm. I always go with what keeps you inspired to do it. I like that. Um, <clears throat> all right. And then any other questions? And then so we got how to lose weight. What are the most of? How to build muscle? How to build muscle? And then we'll put booty. Lose body fat. Right. So that's lose body fat. So this hits on all the things that we're always like, how do I do that? How do I do that? Um, and that's why I don't want to just talk about all these different things and not hit the points that are really important to you guys. Do you guys have any other questions? You guys? Any questions for uh, I know you have a question. I think one that a lot of people don't like, uh, I know a lot of people when they, they try to like either gain weight or lose weight, they either try to cut out cardio or they try to do a lot of cardio, but yeah. and, they forget about the weight training. Okay, how to? Oh yeah. What? Uh, what? To, let's just put what to focus on. Because some women don't want to weight lift. Because yeah, there's a different mindset that they think you're gonna look up like you're a um, man. To yeah. Totally wrong. Lose weight. Yes. Lose we learned weight. that. I learned that. And then we have one more question. I think mine is more of like along the lines of pain management because. I don't have a lot of muscles, so to like hold up my bones and like go through the motions of like doing the squats and stuff, it it hurts, you know. Right. So either stretching and pain and okay. going through that pain, you know. Okay. Okay. Uh, when starting, let's just say when starting. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, not like chronic pain or anything, it's just like when you first start off, yeah. because that's a big one for most of us when we first start working out. And even when you stop and start, you go through that same thing, but you know you're going to get through it. Okay, so I'll go down, uh, go down. do you guys have any more questions? I think that's a Yeah. Okay, so how to maintain uh, habits. One of the things is writing down the habits, keeping them simple. Do not overthink, like I need to create 20,000 habits. And it's just all about every day, either you write it down on a notepad that you look at every single day, and just it's one day at a time, one day at a time, one day at a time. I mean, there is no magic answer for that. It's just how bad, what do you want to accomplish? So creating that habit would be like, I need to drink, you know, my water every day. I need to, you know, eat well every day. I need to exercise every day. I have all these things that I want to do to become healthy. Don't overwhelm yourself. 
start with maybe three things. It's the three things you want to start with. And it would be like um, getting good sleep, drinking plenty of water, and doing something active every day. Okay? And so um, just start with small, small things. Just like when you do with your business or with your brushing your teeth. We don't forget, I don't think we forget about brushing our teeth every single day. So, so it's creating that routine. You know, and sometimes it does go out the window a little bit, but I am very, I'm a very, uh, how can I say, um, squirrel, like I'm all over the place. I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, where your brain is just like, I gotta get up, I gotta go, I gotta go. Okay, but the one thing I do every single day is I drink three cups of water with my lemon, I make my coffee, and I don't exercise. No matter what. Is that at home? You do that at home? You do that at the gym? I do that at the gym. So I get up and I do I do my uh, my affirmations and my yeah. prayers. And my, she had she owns a gym, but she still goes to a different gym. Yeah, because that's work. For me. Yeah. So it's like I get sucked in, and I'm just like I can't do that. You know, I'll, I'll, I gotta go to my gym. So my headphones up. It is a routine, and then my routine with even my exercises and stuff like that. But it's just three things. Just pick three things that you can you can do every single day, and then just start. And you will start realizing it's like I. I've been doing this for a while and it just becomes like nothing to you. And again, it is just like getting up and brushing your teeth and taking your shower and pouring your coffee. And then the one thing with the water, which is what I was gonna add, the water is super important because that helps with your brain. Okay, we're made up of 70% of water. So it is important for your brain. Do not drink your coffee first, drink your water first, okay? You haven't drank water all night long, so you're dehydrated. And the first thing we do is put coffee in our bodies. So we're dehydrating ourselves, you know, it's a diuretic. So make sure you guys start creating a habit. Water every single day, even if it's hard, start with one cup, but it's just being mindful of your habits of what you need to do. Okay, speaking of water, I'm getting first. Okay, and then, um, speaking of water, I notice on my skin when I didn't drink that much water, because I drink, it's usually a gallon uh, yeah, that I drink it's like it's not right. I already fill that up, and that's sixty-four ounces. This 64. is this is this is my second round, okay. and it's like nothing. It's not even that hard. You stop drinking um, soda. I mean, mind you, I will drink a monster. You will see me with the monster in my hand once yep. in a while. <laughs> you know, I will drink coffee, but I mean, drinking water is like a habit. It's like nothing. Yeah, and and, and, and it's so and and the one one thing that I really have to. I really, really gotta, I gotta say, is that you have to switch your mindset because all of this is about mindset. Mindset of understanding that you are your most important project. Without your help, you have nothing, okay? I run, I have people come in, I mean, all the time with people, and it's like, but I gotta work, and I gotta do this, and I gotta do that. It's like, if you didn't have your health, how are you gonna do that, okay? How are you gonna do that if you don't have your health? If you're sick or you have diabetes or you have illness and you feel lousy, we wake up feeling lousy every day because of the food we put into our bodies. So just be mindful of that. That's the kind of stuff I want you guys to take away today. It's like, I'm my most important project. You have to be a little bit selfish at home too. Um, you know, and I struggle, I struggle when my husband understands it now. Obviously I have no business, but um, even for myself, it's like, I gotta go to the gym. You know, it's like, oh honey, you know, no, this is my time. This is about me, and I gotta take care of me, because if I don't take care of me, I can't take care of you, right? okay? So always remember that in your why. It isn't about, um, being physically fit is not about having big muscles or anything like that. That's our preference, that's what we like. I like that, she likes that. It doesn't have to be like that for everybody. It's just about getting out of the car, getting out of your bed, being able to walk around, going up the stairs, getting in and out, groceries, you know, it just gets harder as we get older. So you have to be mindful about where you're, what's important to you in your life, and you gotta be number one. That's the, the biggest takeaway here, is saying you, you gotta put yourself first, and then everything else is gonna come along. And if you do that first, and you feel good about it, then it's gonna pour into everybody else and everything else in your business. Because that's gonna come with security, feeling confident, feeling good about yourself, having more energy, you know, and then you're gonna make better choices with food, you know, because you're saying, I'm working out, or I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I'm gonna make, I'm not gonna ruin it, I'm gonna start making better choices, okay? So, going down that, that's another whole rabbit hole. 
And then, oh, okay, so we're gonna go into, the, we got maintaining habits. Now we're gonna go into building muscle. Building muscle, you have to do some strength training to build muscle, of course. But you cannot build muscle unless you eat according to those goals, all right? So with that being said, uh, you gotta eat to build muscle. <coughs> Muscle's an active tissue, so in order to keep it growing and going, you gotta feed it, okay? So it's like fire. You know, you fuel the fire and it keeps going, it keeps going. That's why you see a lot of where uh, small meals throughout the day, kind of stuff like that. It's not necessarily that it has to be like that. It could be three meals a day if you need to do that, just depending on what works for you. And you have to remember also that eating has to work according to your lifestyle, okay? You can get a keto plan. That's why all these different plans, you have to really look at, does this work for me personally? So um, the, the eating plans have to fit into according to your goals. If you want to build muscle, you got to eat protein. Protein at least equal amounts of your body weight. So that's what I always recommend. So if you weigh 100 pounds, 100 grams of protein. Under eating doesn't let you grow the muscle, build the muscle. I agree because we get um, busy with throughout the day. You know, it's like, oh no. Oh yeah. You know? And it's easier to go through a drive through than it is to cook at home. Right? All right. Bye-bye. Um, <laughs> you know, but yeah. it, it gets it gets pricey. But anyways, you can you, your body, you can tell if you go through a drive through you, yes. you just shut down. Everything you worked so hard for, yes. you just ruin it in one outing. Yeah. But you don't beat yourself up over it. No. You have no, to. No, don't do it every day. You know? No. Because no. no. mind you, I, I, yes. I love to eat. Yes. I, I love to cook. Yep. I love to eat, but I do. I'm pretty good about it. You know, eating and so forth because I know how hard I have worked for so many years. Yeah. And if I just let it go, even if I don't go to the gym for two weeks, it you know for my maintaining your muscles. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. Now I'm like, oh my booty's gone. It's gone. I gotta go back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah. So you definitely have to make sure you're eating enough protein. Uh, protein is the number one. It's the hardest one to get in. It's so easy to get the carbs in. Fats. Like you can do them in like one sitting, you know, with the whole avocado. avocado. Yeah, right. <laughs> and peanut yeah. butter. And peanut butter. I yeah. Just want to and if you do cool cheese and stuff. and stuff like that, there's fat and a lot of stuff. That one's easier to get in, uh, but that's the one you have to be mindful for. You know, you have to be really careful with that one. Um, and it also is a level of how much carbs you're having versus fats. But that's a whole other kind of worms. So we can talk about it if you want to get dialed into it more. We can talk about it later. Um, so building muscle would be enough protein. And then you gotta, when you exercise and uh, strength train, it is giving your body a signal to build muscle, okay? So I'm lifting weights, I'm you know, pumping, and my body's going, okay, she wants to build muscle, so let's grow, but I gotta feed those muscles too, okay? It'll happen. That's why there's sometimes when you see people and you go, they say, I work out, I work out, I work out, and you're like, oh, you know, I don't, not, not that it's your, our business, but it's like, why is there no changes? It's usually the diet, 80% of the diet. Okay, the diet. I saw him. You are what you eat. You are what you eat, and I wrote that down. You are what you eat. So that's another thing, okay? So you just have to be mindful. Quality food is really important too, okay? Again, it's not gonna be perfect. No. It's not about, it's an 80 20 rule. It really is about not depriving yourself, but in moderation. So enjoy your food. Life is not about not having stuff, it really isn't. It's about enjoying stuff, but also. You know, say Monday through Friday, you do really well, and then enjoy your weekend, spurge a little bit, never skip out on your protein. Okay, so that's really, really important. Um, okay, so then building the booty, same thing. You gotta eat. You gotta eat in a surplus in order to build muscle. All right, so that means you have to eat a little bit more. If you wanna be in a deficit, if you wanna drop weight, then you would have to be in a deficit. If you wanna build and grow, you gotta, kinda gotta be either at maintenance or at, in a surplus. Okay, so dropping the weight would be uh, burning more calories than what you consume. So then we, we do different numbers like that. But also to get the results, if you want more muscle, you gotta eat a little bit more. And it doesn't mean a lot more, it could be 200 calories more and just adding more protein. And So can you give us an example of protein? Yeah, so like a lot of people have never meal prepped before in the world, to be honest. Like they probably right. wanna, you say a lot of food, they're thinking about all the food in the world, you mean like healthy, like milk? Yeah, healthy. Give us an example. Okay. Of what kind of so, so your proteins okay. could be your proteins could be um, your your chicken, your fish, your turkey. Um, it can, and, and don't think it's all chicken breast of chicken. Okay, 
okay, life is not fun with just rest of Japan. That's like, okay, so you can do steaks, there's leaner steaks, you can do, um, if you're more like vegetarian, vegan, you can do tofu, you can do um, cottage cheese, you can do uh, uh, Greek yogurts, there's um, tunas, there's canned healthier versions of tunas and stuff like that. Uh, you can do like tilapia, you can do salmon. There's so many different ways of getting your protein in. There's protein shakes that we use. Um, and so there's so many, there's no excuse and there's no reason why it should be boring or plain or anything like that either, okay? So, uh, you know, you can do stir fries, you can do stir fry for breakfast, you know, you can, you can do, they're across the board. There's just so many ways to intake that protein. So, um, you know, uh, uh, different breakfast ideas. I even found this new one right now where you scramble two eggs and a, a cup of cottage cheese. You add more protein, eggs are expensive now. So I said, okay, I can add the cottage cheese to the two eggs and it's a fluffy, huge plate of protein and it all tastes like eggs. So there's a quick one right there, you know, that's a new one. Um, there's, they make ice cream out of it too, the cottage cheese. There's so many different ways. If you don't like dairy or you don't drink, uh, drink dairy or intake dairy, then you can have, you know, your chicken, your fish, all that stuff. There's so many different, and I actually brought meal plan that has lists of all that oh, stuff for you guys to take yeah. um, All right. The tofu, if you put it in your air fryer or your um, yes. dessert, okay. you can add teriyaki sauce to it and actually taste like carnitas. Does That's it? Cool. It really does. Because no. you know, um, cook it a little bit and the toast you're like, it's pretty good. good. But you know, there's things okay. that you can, um, you know, you can experiment with this. Oh, yeah. 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 I do the air fry so my, my scrambled eggs, oh, for I instance, I'll make, I put green beans in them and it tastes really good. Yeah. So I put scrambles with chickpeas and stuff like that. Yeah. And then if you're, and then you got, you got lentils, beans, all that stuff that has protein as well. So lentils have protein, right? Yes. Protein and lentils, beans, uh, quinoa. Um, and then you can just combine stuff like that. You know, you can put it together and you get enough protein in there too. So there is a list of all kinds of stuff. That one is the number one thing that I would always say that we always have to, we have to express how important it is to have in each of your foods, you know, and, and just keep it simple. I mean, I would do like a breast of chicken with a handful of carrots. Uh, it doesn't, it is not have to be rocket science. You don't have to do these fancy things you see on social media and you're just like, I don't do that, I don't want to do nothing. No, keep it simple. It's true. I, you guys don't do nothing. You guys, I make, I make, I make, I make, I make, I make meatloaf. Um, I use two packs of the turkey and I make this giant meatloaf and all week long I'm just, you know, add, and putting it on my plate and putting whatever on the side. You know, I make cabbage salad, whatever. And then and it just make it simple, okay? There's your, what is that, Wobble Grill? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Wobble Grill, that's a great one. If you buy a family pack, you take it home and you meal prep for yourself. So they have the vegetables, the rice, and the chicken, and you just separate that in meals for the whole week. There's a secret there. So, question, Caroline, since we're talking about cooking healthy, how much um, sugar intake and salt intake? Oh, yeah. Is there a difference? I know that we need because of sugar here and salt up the salt. Salt had gotten a really bad rap, but it's the one thing that is the most important mineral actually for our, a lot of times people like eliminate it and you feel lethargic and tired and sleepy and all these things and it's just your salt that is just low. So you know your Himalayan salt, your gray salt, all that. I always put salt in the morning with my water um, and then I'll take that to the gym and I'll drink that. Salt before your workout actually helps too. That's what I do. Isn't that It's like it's The Himalayan. Yeah. Just no sodium in general. Yeah. Yeah. Well you see salt. So my tahini is good. It's good. No, but then you have your red dye in my you don't want to talk about right now. Yeah, um, every once in a while. <laughs> throw it on your fruit or whatever. That's survival club. <laughs> <laughs> so we have um, the building muscle. You guys got that? Most important protein. We cook. Okay. Like healthy cooking. And then the healthy cooking. Do we got that? Yes. Okay. Any questions on healthy cooking? Or, I, or something that you guys... How do you break the un unhealthy cooking habit? Oh, you throw you all your food away that's bad in your house. <laughs> and then you buy all the nice you know, stuff. <laughs> Well, it's true. Yeah. It is. It's, well, it's, well, go, go it's get a homeless first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
There you go. There you go. I did, but yeah, you start. I cook, but I love to cook. But I cook the typical, in my case, Mexican meals. So that's what I, I make a lot of rice. I make, I make everything chilada. I cook almost every day. Okay, but do you cook in and lard? It's healthy, not a lard. Okay. But, but I use olive oil, but I still fry most of the stuff. I really, like I was talking about earlier, is I, this is as healthy as it gets for me because I'm cooking all my stuff. Okay, so then you have to be mindful of it. You have to want to do it. And then there's always, always something. We cannot make any excuses that we cannot find healthy versions of enchilada or, you know, we do cooking at home like that too. My husband is Mexican and he loves tacos and all that stuff. And he loves good tasting food. Like he's not, you know, gonna, he's not gonna eat like the stuff that, I, that I'll that i choose to eat. But he's learned, like we've learned how to make carne asada tacos. We do our own sauces. We do everything. Um, and it's all pretty healthy. You know, there's nothing really fried. Uh, we air fry our taquitos, you know, now. You know, we spray them. That's we spray them, but I air fry them, too, and he loves them, you know. And he comes now with tortillas now. There you go. You know, but you can even have regular tortillas. It isn't what you're having, it's how much oh, you have. You know, you can't have that stack of tortillas that people, like, used to do or whatever they do. I know that they would go, like, oh, whole thing in one sitting. No, you can't do that. You got to do... You know, two, three tortillas, you know, the flour, you don't want that big burrito tortilla that's that big, you know, that's a great uh, Mission, that's a mission. <laughs> right. has right, nine calorie, or nine carb. Oh, yeah, they have the carb balance one. Yeah. Yes, yes. they have the carb one. They even have the 25 calorie, uh, the corn ones, I Yes. Know. Yes. But, it, but it's also, if it fits in your, in your, in your budget, because it's like a budget, don't stress on it. I'm like, I'm always under on my carbs because I never eat enough of yeah. the stuff. So carbs is hard, protein, like I tell you, the fat is so easy to get in, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, just um, if you track, which is the biggest, best tip I can give you, yeah. you will realize that you're under eating uh, and then you just have to swap out some things and you're, you're, you're gonna be like, Oh my gosh, I feel good with how much I eat. We always think that we're not supposed to eat to lose weight, right? And that's not really the case. You have to understand how that works, but we'll talk about that after. I learned so, that too with my fitness fell out. I thought I was eating a lot, but it just turns out I was eating a lot of the wrong things. Exactly. <laughs> like my calories were really low, but I was eating all chips, and they were like, it was being consumed by junk food. By junk food. food. That is a lot of calories. So that's, yeah. what, that's what I first started a few months ago. Exactly. Was tracking, and it's, that completely blew my mind. Yeah, so eating enough, eating enough to lose oh, weight. Goodness, no. Okay, so that one, that one's really big because that's what most of the people do. They don't eat enough to lose weight. They, we think we relate losing weight by eating less food. Well, it's really eating less junk food or less mm -hmm. processed food. And that's what you want to eliminate is the processed food, the junk food that has a lot of calories. So with that, let's just say, uh, for example, um, you're eating 1,200 calories, right? Uh, you're eating 1,200 calories is that number that everybody, the magic number everybody uses to lose weight, right? Mm -hmm. So 1,200 calories, and then you go uh, and you burn on a general, which is your basal metabolic rate, which is what you just function with daily, is 1,200. In order to lose weight, you need to be in a deficit. So let's just say we drop you down to um, 1,100 calories, right? And you're, and you're barely eating that, no, 900 calories. You're barely eating that right around there. Uh, you're barely eating that, and you go and exercise, mm -hmm. and you burn three one hundred calories. So where are we at? We're at six hundred calories. Mm -hmm. How's our body going to function? So what the body does is it's very smart. It has to live. It has to survive. Right? It's on survival mode. So it has to say, well, when is she going to feed me again? Or he going to feed me again? Uh, I'm going to hang on to this fat because fat is energy. Okay. So. We're going to hang on to the fat and we're going to stay here until I get fat again. So the next day comes and you're doing the same thing. Well, we're not going anywhere. The little fat cells are like, I ain't going anywhere because I need to live and I need energy to go to work. And I need to go here. That. So what happens? It's like you can't keep dropping and dropping and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not losing weight. Why am I not losing weight? Let me cut more food out. And then you're going, I'm not, I'm, hard, I'm not eating anything. How am I not losing weight? Something's wrong with me, you know? Mm -hmm. Then we go to a nutritionist or somebody like me that it's like, you're completely off. Like, you need to eat more. What? How am I going to eat more and lose weight? Well, when we put the right foods in and you start eating more, the weight starts coming off. So it's reverse dieting, what we call. Mm -hmm. 
So that's reverse dieting. So that's why your tracking is really important. Most people are on a deficit when they get off of their, their like junk food or eating whatever, and then they want to lose weight. It's that whole mindset of, I need to eat less. Let me start you know, doing that. And it becomes you know, a mess. That's where your body, uh, your metabolism starts messing up. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, we can get certain conditions from that. And so we try to stay within that. We reverse diet. So we add calories little by little. And then you start getting respond. Your body's responding to the weight loss. Okay. So then, so then that's where you start. And then people nowadays, it's like you got to eat like fifteen hundred calories, eighteen hundred calories, and and you know keep it up. You'll have more energy. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna look better. You're not gonna look run down. You're gonna feel run down. And you're gonna understand better how your body responds to all that. And then your metabolism picks up, burns fat, and you're gonna just be and you're gonna have more muscle. And you'll look better. And you'll so, be happy. Yes, and you'll be happy. Because the idea is to be happy, right? At the end of the day. So, do we understand that a little bit today? No. Because it's a lot of information, but um, I want you guys to get an understanding on eating. I think that, that covered loose, um, loose body fat. Hmm? That, I think you covered loose body fat with that conversation mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, so that that's also losing weight. And then losing body fat would be a little bit of that, but also um, losing body fat would be uh, body recomping. So that's where sometimes you see people, uh, let's say they, they're, they're not understanding how their inches are going down, but the scale stays the same. So that means they're building muscle and their inches are going down. Did you want to go through that? Yeah, I, like before and after photo is insane. Have I showed you that? But the scale did not move much. Too yeah. Much. So you did build some muscle and then you dropped some body fat. Also that would be too. dropping body fat. So mm -hmm. important again, the protein. Okay. The protein for that because that's the that's the, the game changer and everything. So that's what happened. And then if you hit a wall, then you have to check your numbers, what you're doing, <coughs> to make sure you're you're on track with your, your It was just tricky because like I had the best before and after out of everyone in the competition, mm -hmm. but they won because of numbers. Yeah, yeah. That's why I, I don't join for competitions. Because I'm not gonna lie, I don't because I did my toe. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, like, but yes. I look good. Yes. yes. And that's, that's the important part. And, and, the, thing, yeah. and that's how I feel, right? the thing with um, somebody like Lorena is that if she has such, she has only a little bit to change, you have it's much, hard bro. for yeah. someone that has that. a little bit to change, <laughs> you know, and stuff. So it just depends. And also her goals. I mean, she could say, I want to gain 20 pounds of muscle. So, okay, then that's a different goal, but I don't think you want to do that. No. <laughs> I don't know where I would go. <laughs> yeah. So losing body fat, losing weight, important for protein, um, and then just getting in the, the healthier, clean foods. So then, like, for example, how do you lose the weight without gaining the muscle? Like, for example, Jay's senator, right? Uh -huh. Let's say she wanted to lose the weight. Like, how do you do that? Well, I was happy though, I just like gain muscle. Oh, so so are, you, are, you talking about, are you talking about how the scale? Oh, the scale's see? not moving, but the inches are, are moving. Well, that, but, I want, but I want the scale to move too. That's what I did too, but at least I look amazing. Like, my yeah. after is different, like crazy. Well, I, feel, I feel stronger, I have muscle. That's the mindset. Yeah. Okay, because I'm always about um, what does it matter if you were in a size two or zero? What does it matter? And I, I get what you're saying because a lot of people are like, I want the scale to move. Then you need to throw the scale away because <laughs> I want no, you. To there's a number I want to be at. I get it. And that's the number I want to be at. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's, where you're, that's, that's where you're kind of defining yourself at. Uh -huh. like that's, that's me, that mm -hmm. number. But at the end of the day, I think that if you recomped some, you'd understand better and you 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 oh, like what you sure. see and what you feel because to me it it feels amazing to feel strong and to feel solid mm -hmm. um, and to feel you know like you can lift stuff and you mm -hmm. can it's very empowering mm -hmm. you know and so that is something that if you haven't experienced it I recommend that you 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 allow yourself to be coached because it is a mindset mm -hmm. on the scale I'm trust me I have people that walk in and they get on there and they're like don't show it to me. It's like, but you look amazing. I don't want to see it. It's crazy. Like we, yeah. And 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 so I just 
I, it's a mindset. It's a, it's something that you have to work on and understand. Um, and at the end of the day, you can get to that number, and you you probably won't feel good. You might say, "I feel the same. I feel still soft, or I feel I don't feel. You know, I feel high, like I have low energy. I have this. I have that. I'm not happy. You know." And so, a lot of times, we do define by ourselves by the scale, but it is it's a it's a really tough one too for people. You know, but that's why you have to remember your why. Like you have to remember that it's not about um, the five pounds. It's about feeling good. It's about being stronger and about being healthier. Because when it comes from that, when it starts from within, you want to be healthier. Then it's going to pour into um, everything else, and then into the weight. When we when I have people that I want to lose ten pounds in a week, it, it sabotages everything, and and then they give up. You know, because all this is like you have you've been doing something for ten years. Say you have an exercise for ten years, you can't expect it to be done undone in a week or a month. You know, and like I say, you're your most important project. You gotta you gotta take time. You know, and then also figure out what works for you. Like as far as exercise, it could be um, going to certain classes. I mean, I'm always all about adding strength training at least three days a week because it's the most important thing for us women, especially. Um, guys, they have it easy. Uh, we 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 struggle with that. So that, but find other things that will work for you for exercise and stuff like that. That's my struggle right now is that I can't find an exercise that I enjoy. <laughs> Everything it's all like dreadful. <laughs> it's very <laughs> dreadful. <laughs> yes. Well, so, I, so I need to find something that I enjoy. like. I love walking outside. I will walk outside. Ten thousand steps a day. That was but I don't just want to do that. Do I want your something steps. else. Yeah. That I enjoy. And, that I haven't done. Done with the book class. Yes. Like cardio class. You done a hit class? Yeah. Have you done it enough to where yeah. you're like you really okay? Yeah. So one of the things that I always say, come to class every single day, and it doesn't have to be mine. Of course, I'm here, you know, to to you know uh, offer you like you know free week, whatever. Um, it doesn't have to be mine. Find something and stick to it for a little while. That's the thing. It's about going and not just walking in because it's new. I mean, we all know when you go into a place and you go. And you're like, I feel awkward, everybody knows each other, I don't know them. But in a week, in two weeks, three weeks, you're gonna feel, you know, like I belong and you feel and you make me come you have friends, you start yeah. recognizing people and then everybody starts like and then you just want to be gone for two weeks and text you all the time. Yes, <laughs> we're <laughs> men, kind of like that. Or I'm studying the language because when I went first at boot camp, the J gave me oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't know the verbiage. They had like a, a sign there of who, I mean, I had no idea what that meant. Yes. Oh, yeah, my like, poor yes. Yeah, they were lost the first week. It's like, and they had to come with what we were doing, and it was tough. Yeah. Yes, three days at a time, then it, it feels better when it's right. Yes. After the first week, after two weeks, you feel kind of like it's, a, it's kind of like a team. Yeah. And, and, and then, yeah. and then you're, you're not the new person anymore. Yeah. You know, you're not the new person. But it's just about creating that habit. Mm -hmm. It's a habit. Okay, have it, have it, have it. How do you get back into it after your took two weeks off? You get back into it. <laughs> just jump right back into it. <laughs> I needed that one. Hey, work. guess what? You don't take two weeks off. How's that? I'm just kidding. I feel yeah. so bad. No, I, no, I feel so bad. It's been two weeks and I feel terrible. Then get back into it. The faster you get back into it, the faster it'll, or everything will just, all that feeling will go away. failure. Like. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do you focus on to lose weight? We kind of covered that. Yeah, we covered that one too. So the pain, in, um, pain will we start off? Oh yeah. Okay. So one of the things that I always recommend when I have my clients come in is take it really easy. We'll you'll see people grabbing all kinds of weights, and I'm like, don't use weight or three pounds or five pounds, and um, come in every single day to work out, and your body will start loosening up and feeling better. The soreness your first week is always the hardest. Oh, we gotta stretch. So that's a big thing. Yeah, we stretch at the end of the class um, all the time. It's huge for recovery. The stretching, lots of water. Okay, uh, lots of water. The protein is really important for um, recovery as well. So I always recommend like a protein shake after. Uh, but it's really important for you to continue moving and going. You sit and you work at a desk and you sit up and you're like super sore and tight or you sit, you know, in the toilet, all that stuff. People are like, I can't get up. Uh, just keep moving. What you'll get, you'll get through the hump and then the second week will be better and then you'll realize how sore you can get and 
it's a it's a comfortable sword. It's comfort you have to get comfortable to be uncomfortable for a little bit. There's really no way around it unless you take it super super slow. And um, that's the only thing. It's like at, if, on a scale of one to ten, I always say work at fifty percent. You know, so just take it easy your first week. Yeah, I see people coming in and they're jumping around and they're like, slow your roll. You haven't been exercising. Slow your. And they're like, oh no no no, I got it. And they're all like crazy and doing what the other person has been here forever doing and. And then they're like, I couldn't even walk. And you feel like a train like, you, know, you feel like a truck hit you. You know, and you feel like that. And yeah. it, it feels defeating because you think it's always going to be like that. But it's not. It'll be so much nicer after you get over the first week. But also don't be jumping around like a free source. A lot of my workouts are also modified. Um, I've gotten to this point, but, you know, I'm in pain all the time. Like right now I'm in pain, but I just deal with it. Um, but most of my workouts are modified. Yes. Um, you'll see me some days with a five, you know, dumbbells, 10, 15s, you know? Yes. And I'll, I, I play with it. Yes. Because I do modify a lot of my yes. workouts. She's but I still get a, a results. I still see results. Yes, because because she's still telling her body that she's working out and she's still feeding her body, even though she's lower on the protein right now. Yeah. But she's still doing that. But so her body's understanding that it's she's still lifting the weights and for the most part, she does all the heavy lifting. Mm -hmm. It's just more of the um, certain movements that we will like have like some quick like Tabata days where we're just like doing some hits and a little bit more jumping and stuff like that. Um, where she's a little bit more mindful and she's very careful with her back and stuff like that. I have the same issues, so uh, I, I'm right there with her. Um, just being more mindful of how you move your body and stuff like that. So we do modify exercises if anybody has limitations. Um, and you should have, if you go wherever you go, because it's not just about my place, at wherever you go that the coaches are very aware of like, whatever's going on and taking it easy and listening to you as far as whatever issues you guys have. All right. Nice. What other questions you guys have? Did we cover everything? Yes. Oh, we oh, yeah. we do Did you guys like that? Inspired? Oh, no. To, how do you stay inspired? I wanted to touch on that one though. Can we go for the camera? Okay. I'm sorry. 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 Oh, I care that one. How to stay, see your lovely face. Oh. How to keep inspired? Um, I I like to read more than you know. My kids know I fall asleep if I watch TV. But anyways, um, you have to love yourself first. That's how you get inspired. So my time when I go work out, my son goes to work out too. My other son does. They they they're loving themselves. Yes. So <laughs> it's like us. We have a family. How are you gonna love? your family if you don't love yourself and part of loving yourself is um, enjoying how you look. Taking care of yourself. Taking you Taking look care of yourself. the way my mom always told us the way you look is the way you're gonna feel. Mm -hmm. So if you know you don't you're not happy the way you look, well we got to change it. Yes. You gotta change it. Yes. So you have to inspire yourself. Yes. Because nobody else is gonna do it for you. I'm yes. sorry. You can have the best partner whatever yeah. you might be, but the only person that's gonna push you and inspire you is yourself. Exactly, and, and and it's gotta be it's gotta be um it's again it's gotta be more than just losing the weight. It's gotta be for me. Exercise is therapy. It's I mean through I've gone through a lot of issues with my back as well, and I go to the gym every day no matter what. I just go to stretch. I go to just I don't know just be there because I'm keeping that routine because I know as soon as I fall off. Just like she was feeling like, I, 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 I don't know how to get back on, I don't stop. You know, and unless you're going out of town or something, I get that. But if I'm at home and it's just making an excuse, I go. I'm in pain, you know, everything hurts sometimes, and I'm just like, you gotta go because it's therapy for me. And your inspiration should be just your, your personal development. Yeah. It, is, it is, after COVID, it has been the biggest eye opener um, everywhere how important physical fitness is, you know, and so even if it's just three days a week, I say every day is a workout day, <coughs> we have things that come up, then I can take that day off, and I don't feel bad because I've been going every single day. I mean, I'm a little bit more, you know, on that other end where it, I have to go all the time, but I take my days off. If today, if today was a day that I couldn't go for whatever reason, I'm like, I don't feel bad because I know I'll be there tomorrow, and I went yesterday. You know, so if you plan like Monday through Friday, but your inspiration should just be your, like she said, your self love to want to just, you know, another thing that really helps a lot is accountability. Yeah. So find someone that will join you on a journey, 
find a coach, find a program, and that will hold you accountable. How many times do you go and find a coach? Yes, yeah. that will, hey, you need to get in here. What's going on? You know, what's going on? Why are you not here? Find a, a friend that wants to do the same thing. Not somebody that's going to say they're going to do it and then they flake on you, but find someone and, and say, you know, I, let's do this together because you'll show up for them. You won't show up for yourself as much, but you'll show up for them more. And you're like, oh man, you know, I'm so glad I went, uh, you know, because this person's waiting for me. That's huge, you know, um, but you have to dig deep, deep enough to know that, like, you gotta do it. Once you start and create it, I mean, there's no feeling like, when you walk out of that gym, how do you feel? It's good. You know, but it's only, well, our workout is only 45 minutes. Yeah. So I wake up at 3.50 in the morning. That's because my class starts at 4.45, and we have to do that. She that hour. Though. That's my hour, that's my time. So I'm like, okay, if I don't go today, my husband has his alarm at five o'clock. I can hear him on TikTok the whole hour. I try not to work out. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. So it's like, so not like I'm sorry. Oh, so you didn't even have a choice. No, he was like, why? I just wasted a whole hour. You yeah. know, I could have been productive. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it's like, I'm going to go for myself because it's not like I spent it on myself anyways, right? Yes. But you feel good because then your day is already started. Yeah. You know, it's it's a journey for your day. Yeah, you're already, I'm already gone and I'm already doing my thing. You know, I had a cup of coffee, whatever. I just like my time to myself. Yes. And you have to learn how to be by yourself. And I like to be by myself. Yeah. You know, in the mornings you enjoy yourself. Yes. For the people that don't like to be by themselves or even work out by yourself, it's because you haven't found yourself yet. Yeah. That is yeah. true. You haven't found yourself. Yeah. So what's the difference between a regular gym, paying for pet fitness, and going to? I'll tell you right, real quick. I, I, that's where I met them. I met them at LA Fitness. I was working out. I thought I knew what I was doing, you know? Um, but I was I hurt myself because I wasn't doing the workouts correctly. And then you have you have Coach Amy, you have Coach Caroline, you have Coach Zach. Um, Akaya and uh, you know they're always they're teaching you the right way. They'll stop oh. and they your form is not it's, right. It's personal it's training in a group setting. Mm -hmm. So you're paying you know I guess what is the plan? I don't know 10 20 bucks a month, right? And you're going and that's fine if it works for you. Um, and you're going and so but here it's in a group setting and you have a coach or two coaches. We're teaching you and coaching you and motivating you and upping you up in the class and stuff like that. And then there's that accountability of checking in with you like weekly to see if you haven't shown up, why are you not showing up? And um, also, um, it's more hitting the points, the muscle groups that we know you need. You know, so we work on core, we work on, you know, different muscle groups every single day. Uh, Monday, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays is more of a hit, so it's a little bit <coughs> easy. So you get more of a sweat on. Uh, on those kind of days. So we do the programs according to what we feel is important for you. You'll go to the gym and, and you'll look and then you'll walk on the treadmill and then you'll grab a little bit of weights and then you're like, oh, I want to do this bike. And then you leave. A lot of people do that. Not everybody does. And you don't. Yeah, 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 or, yeah, or, or you'll get intimidated. You'll go to a big gym. It's like, oh, well, they know what they're doing. They're big, and you know, yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah, you know, and you, you get that, and you hear yeah. that. You yeah. know? I paid for it for almost a whole year. Yeah, never yeah. I started like the number one. Like when I first started, I uh, I was going with my older brother, and then as soon as he got busy like work and stuff, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go. One, I'm a partner, and two, I was like, ah, I was only doing the workouts that he was doing. Yeah. Right. So then really got me into it was like oh I started doing like my workouts that I wanted to do or even TikTok or Instagram now like you go through like oh I want to hit let's say like chest you just scroll scroll through like oh, a bunch of chest that's workouts there's no reason yeah, yeah and you're like oh I like that workout oh I don't like that one I'm gonna do this one and you just create your own routine because at the end of the day like whatever you want to do or what you like is what's gonna make the gym fun and that's what you're gonna enjoy and that's what you're gonna and you feel and you feel creative. accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. You feel accomplished. And for most of us that are intimidated and don't wanna you know, you go to the gym and you join and, and then you say you're gonna go and then you don't have the accountability and then you don't have the structure because you need to have a plan. Like what are we gonna do today? Ours is all done for you. So you walk in and it's a full body uh, workout. You know, we're usually doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturdays we'll do full body. And then, um, and and so then you're you're set. You don't have to worry about it. They just walk in and we do them, and then mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. You know, and you leave and you feel good because you accomplished your workout. Yeah. 
you know, uh, versus like if you're going by yourself. Um, I go to the gym by myself, but I'm already, you know, how many years in and I already know what I, I want to do. And like I say, it's my therapy. But I will join um, the boot camp classes in the evening on the other days and stuff because it's a different type of workout. So I love doing the group. It's fun being with all the members of the people you see and stuff like that. And it's a great community of people. I, but, I think also the biggest difference I noticed, if I could speak on that, because I've been to a bunch of different camps. You want to stuff like yours yes. in the beginning. They're all trying to do the same thing. The best thing about it too is, like she said, you have to think about it. Like I don't, I just go in and I'm on 45 minutes. Like I'm already a person that hates waking up early, so I, I just know I have to wake up early, go to my class, and figure it out for me when I'm there. Yeah, and I just think that, about it. I was nervous still, nervous being like a new person, but y'all don't get talking, and they play music and you dance and everything's having fun, and it just took me a week to get comfortable, and it is that accountability because if you're not there, they will hit you up. So it's like, it's like it's the perks of having a personal trainer on a budget to me, in my yeah. opinion. Because I don't have to go with a personal trainer and look into it. They'll charge you like a hundred bucks a week just for three sessions. And for these, you can go for an entire week and you have the perks of you having- can go, We can go over seven, no, six days a week. And yes. If we have seven. But you know- I You can get multiple times yeah. too with your money. So if it was more, it was more, you got more for your money than I did at somewhere else. Yes. And, and I know that it's, you know, everybody cut down on their expenses and stuff, but yeah. if you, leave your house right now, you'll spend $150 just on nothing. Yeah. And then, I don't know what your charges now, but, and that you'll get a whole month's worth of a workout. Yeah. You have to really, when we had a cut, when COVID hit, my husband goes, we have the budget. I'm like, well, you can budget everything you want, but you're not taking away my gym membership. Yeah. You know, and, and, yeah. and it was good. You know, we needed it the most during COVID. Yes. We were there. We were doing, we were accountable on our Zooms. And then when she opened up her gym, she said, they're going to shut her down, they're going to shut her down, but they didn't. You know, everybody had their own personal um, box, yep. and, and it, it was perfect. Yep. And, you know, mental care is big. It was mental huge. I mean, I had so many people come in with depression, um, uh, people that were just drinking a lot. Um, it was really sad. And I was like, I was thinking, I'm like, maybe I need to shut down because I only got, I lost a lot of clients. You know, and I was just in that mindset of like, this isn't going to work. And I just, I don't know, I dug deep and I was like, okay, we'll just keep going. We'll see how this flows. And I kid you not, everybody, like a lot of people that came in were, you saved me, you saved me. Thank goodness you stayed open because this is the only place I can go to, you know, and leave my family at home because the kids were home and, and the school and all that, and they were just losing their minds as moms. Yeah. I've had, uh, you know, spouses cheating on spouses and all these crazy things yeah. going on. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. We cannot shut down. We have so many people to help. And so that was that was a big thing. That was an eye opener for mental health yeah. and how important lifting weights is for your mental health, how it, it affects your hormones. And so it's really important. It's really, really important. So it's. If you guys are going to take anything away from that, it's like do your mental health, loving on yourself, and being inspired, and it's not motivation. Trust me, you get up and you're like, I am not doing this, and then you go, no, I gotta go do it because I know I feel better when I walk out of that gym. I always tell them, you never regret your workout, right? You only regret the one you missed. Yep. So and you have more confidence too. You get so much more confidence. And even back to our real estate, um, Phil and I, you know, our, our Phil broker that passed away, went to a listing. Um, we, we didn't know where these people were big people, right? And the, they, they emailed me back. It's like, you know, we interviewed um, other agencies. Like, but Lorena is like, we can tell you take care of yourself, and we know you are going to take care of us. All the and I'm like, that that is hard. Hard. Yeah, yeah. That really yeah. Yeah. inspired me. I'm like, you know, you don't think people are looking. Yeah. Yeah. Notice. People do notice people that, notice. and it is true. You know, ask like, um, what, what is what is um, the saying saying that I don't know who said it, but give up the busiest person a task and they'll do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Right? You want to task them, go fast. Give Be, and because yeah, you stay busy. You're like, oh, I'm busy. I can't go to the gym. You no, you have to make time for yourself. Yeah. And we don't have time. We don't have time. We make time. Yes. That's the thing. We yeah. don't have time. Nobody, like but nowadays I, with our lifestyles. You know me, I started my fitness journey at a high level a few months ago. I was a lot bigger in October. And the, it's night and day how I feel. I think, yeah. I, me and my family can see it too. It's like, 
it, it, it saved my life, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yes. And then even me, that's why I feel so guilty about the last two weeks off because it's become a part of me. Yeah. Even my mental health the last, the last week, even my health, I feel like my yeah. immune system's been weak this week. And I blame it on not working out or eating good. Yeah. So you just gotta pick up and go, yeah. you know, so you it's can't, don't think about it. It, it, changes, it changes everything. Like what you eat and how you work out, it changes how you feel. And it does affect the confidence of at work. Everything yeah. is, especially as women, I feel like we're even extra about how we live. Oh, yeah, for sure. So. Especially now with social media. Oh, yeah. Stay off of that thing. I don't think yes. So I think, yes, I think oh, we, yeah, yeah we, I think we touched on the subject. Do you drink alcohol? Um, I socially, but Miss Caroline said if you're gonna drink alcohol, vodka is the one. Clear, 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 Margaritas at thirteen hundred calories. I hope that stays in your head forever. Are you so? <laughs> you know, we had this. At, um, I don't want to be perfect. I don't want to say no names, but we like had this. Just what's his name? I don't know. He started. He, he dropped. He dropped weight. Like um, I came out like in a month. Yeah. Who? Sean? No. What's his name? He is, was in the morning with us. He got a divorce. Oh, guys, was wait. Oh, um, Hassan. Hassan. Yeah, so what are you doing? He's like, I stopped drinking beer. Yep. Dude, yeah, dropping beer. We were like, oh my god. Wow. And the yeah. mark, you I saw you in there. The his body. You guys, it was a guy that, uh, yeah. 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 Beer, me cutting out beers, like, that's probably why I made such a drastic curse. So, yeah. yeah. Because my before and after is insane. I think it's because I stopped drinking beer. Yeah. Yeah. And alcohol, if you're going to do alcohol, do one day, get wasted, whatever, one day. Put it on your system. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is way better than doing like a little bit of so true. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, it's it's body intake alcohol, like poison. So it's random. It doesn't know what I can do with calories, so it's just okay, with the stores, that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can do clear, the better, you know. It's fine. There are three. Straight up, don't, 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 Okay. But I appreciate you guys. You coming yes. with us. Well, thank you. Yeah. 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 You guys, I have a, a meal plan here. You guys, I brought you guys a meal plan. So it looks busy. All right. So if there's a male and female. All right. So female here, and then all the food is here. Super simple. Okay. And here is how you're you're eating. At. Okay. And uh, again, it doesn't have to. Things don't have to be perfect. You mess up, you pick up where you leave off. Don't derail. Don't give up. Don't stop. You can always get back on track. Yes. Always. Oh yeah. And your body will respond. Trust me. Yeah. We inspired me coming in. Yeah. Next week, and I was like, "No, I'm going to the." You said awesome. you're in the outlet. Go. Yes, we're in the outlet. I'm going to the. Right, you know where Bath and Body Works is. Yeah. Right yeah, no, I'm going. Right. Right. And then we are, um, we are going to be starting small group training. So uh, that's like six people yeah. in a group that we just uh, um, we just expanded next door. So it'll be more private training. No, I don't. You know, so if you guys are interested. There's a schedule. And then we have uh, Friends of Family starting um, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I need one. Friends of Family starting tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What does that mean? What does Friends of Family mean? Um, come in free, right? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, thank you. you're welcome to come in any time, but we usually do like a weekend. Yeah. Oh, no, I come Thank you. So people bring in more people during that time. Oh, I see. Yeah. So we the, always tell everybody to invite people. These we can put them on our right? Yeah, we'll put it right here. Yeah, so I'll leave all these if you we'll, want. We'll keep your, your, your cell phone at a spot. Uh, yeah, on our vendor wall. The vendor wall. You can find it. Right. And that's okay. Yeah. Sure. So thank you. Um, oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Look at Nelsia. Is there any closing statements? Yeah. 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 All right, how else can they get in contact if they have any questions with you Ms. guys? Caroline. Ms. Caroline. Ms. Caroline. Ms. Caroline. Okay, so Lina. we are located at um, the Lake Elsinore Outlets. And um, right at the corner on the right hand side. Yeah, so when you're coming in, we're right by Bath and Body Works, so everybody knows where that's at. Right mm -hmm. Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Right, right next to it, Bath and Body Works, right there. Perfect. So if you guys want to come check us out, just um, you guys can call. We left information here. Um, mm -hmm. Beach House Lorena. Um, we're pretty much everywhere, so there's no excuses. It's Strong First Fitness. Perfect. And yeah, thank and you. you have the Health and Wellness Committee meetings, right? I, yeah, I do. There you and go. And actually, um, next month, we're going to hold a CPR class. Oh, yes. Here. 
Oh, you are? Yes. yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I just got the pricing for that. Yay. Yeah. Let me know because we need some CPRs updated. Okay. So, yeah, come yeah. here and do it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, Thank so you. Awesome. 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 Awesome.